there's a cliche about doing comedy, and there are three words that you hope will happen. And if they don't, this is the direction you give to the actors. Funnier, louder, and faster. We want to get variety in the season because we want to offer our students as many different kinds of opportunities as possible, whether they're designers, actors, um, dramaturgs. So I had proposed several titles that went to the committee. The committee came back and said, we're interested in Imaginary Invalid. What was interesting is that I directed this play before and I thought, oh, this is gonna be a piece of cake. And then I looked at the script and thought, you know, I'm not interested in this particular version. Both of my shows last year were, were comedies. One was more of a tragic comedy, I guess. Um, but I had an interest in farce. I've had an interest in farce for a while, though I, don't, I didn't know a lot about farce. I love Moliere, and I also was interested in adaptation. It was something I had never done before. So when Carol said, it's a comedy, it's Moliere, and it's an adaptation, um, I was like, sign me up. With every project, dramaturgy is going to be different, because dramaturgy is a very undefined kind of looking at structure, looking at how plays are put together, listening to the voice of the play, trying to figure out how it's going to read to the audience, etc., and just helping to bring pieces together. So much time, so many times at writing comedies, you're constantly asking yourself, is this funny? And so you had a litmus test of if, and it was very, and we were very honest of, with each other, like, this isn't funny. Like, you know, you would bring something and be like, yeah, this, this just, this isn't working. Can we write a comedy based on Moliere, his characters, his situations, and can we make it relevant and funny for today? As a stage manager, uh, people are counting on you to remember the details. So uh, organization is everything, especially on a new play. Carol and I joke a lot about moving on to plan D. Getting to come into the room every night on something that I think is now credited as the entire cast wrote was fantastic. Uh, we would walk in, we would read through a scene at the top of the night, and then we would put it on its feet, and they would see where it went. And if there would be moments that weren't playing, we would tweak them, and then they would just start ad-libbing. <laughs> they would change it, and they would make it their own, and they would make it funny, and then they would do it again, and they would make it funnier, and they would do it again, and it wouldn't work. And then they would do it again, and they would make it funnier than it was the last three times. It was fantastic to see them literally play in this play. How is that? Not quite right, my boy. You forgot the plastic cup. So we have these big, beautiful columns to create sort of the echo to the Moliere era. And then they wanted a space that acted, and they wanted a space that didn't make sense, but you didn't initially realize it didn't. So what we have is a space where everything's on wheels, and there are seven doors that go to varying locations. So it's just sort of a silly space to play in, and it was a structure that the actors could interact with in a substantive way. It's difficult to talk about a production and not recognize the contributions of every single person because they make a difference. I said at the production meeting, the final production meeting that we had for this show, that this has been one of the more friendly, wonderful, cooperative collaborations that I've had in over 20 years of directing here. So it's Everyone, every actor, everyone who's collaborated on this has been an ideal um, team member. There are a lot of things that are in this play that I have never done before. But the other thing that has buoyed me up in this whole process is that I have rediscovered Moliere. And I am so inspired by who he is as a consummate theater person, that he spent his entire life devoted to the theater. He wrote as many plays as Shakespeare. He defied everyone, his family, his friends, in order to do what he loved. That, that has inspired me throughout this whole process. He has. I hope that whatever energy is in those plays, in this particular play, that we've been able to release that energy and allow people to go to the theater and have a good time. I would be so happy if I walked out and somebody said, that guy Moliere is pretty funny. <laughs>